Whew. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I lived to hear this one. <laughs> Listen to this. Taiwan is threatening China. <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes when I when I saw the article. I was like, did I read it right? <laughs> my God, Taiwan is warning China, threatening China. Oh, my God. So this article comes from Fox News from today, June 15th, 2022. And this is the title. Taiwan warns China it has missile capable of striking Beijing. Jesus Christ. It's like you go, uh, let's say you're, you're in a bar with a guy that you look at the guy and he's, I don't know, he's like three foot tall and 3,000 pounds and like a globe or something and you look at the guy saying well i want to up if i want you know what i mean and i just squash right now and the guy shows you his fist hey i got a tough fist right here if i, I can knock you out with this fist and you're like <laughs> so ridiculous look at these guys yeah i got a rocket this is gonna hit beijing <laughs> okay all right how many you got one and a half <laughs> Oh my god, all right, let's go and see the details, the planning, the military strategy of Taiwan. Taiwanese official are, officials, there are more than one, <laughs> are warning China to think twice, maybe thrice, <laughs> uh, before attacking the island nation, claiming that Taiwan has missile, missile, not missiles, missile, is that plural? Missile capable to strike Beijing. Okay. In a recent interview with Taiwanese media, uh, Yu Si Kun, president of Taiwan's Legislative Assembly, and his, said his country wouldn't shy away from using its Yunfeng supersonic cruise missile sh should China invade. Will they use the one? <laughs> hey, bring the missile. We're going to send it to Beijing. Uh, via train. <laughs> okay, and I'm, I'm uh, quoting again. Yung Fend. Yung Fend? Here it says Yun Feng. And it says uh, Yung Fend. Missiles. Oh, we have more than one. Can already. Oh, this is a different one. My bad. Yung Feng missiles. They have more than the other one. Can already hit Beijing, and Taiwan has the ability to attack Beijing. You said, according to Liberty Times Net. Taiwan's Ministry of Defense has allocated more funds in recent years to bolstering the capabilities of Yung Feng missiles to strike deeper in China, writes the war zone. Its newer variant is reported to have an extended range of 1,200 miles, meaning it could, in theory, I like when I say in theory, <laughs> and what about in practice, that's what it matters. In theory, we can fly to the sun, successfully strike Beijing, which is roughly 1,150 miles from Taiwan. They're going to hit the outskirts. <laughs> Man, this is like a comedy. It's unbelievable. All right. You, this guy, this guy's name is you. You. You invoke Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine, noting that the people's will to fight is stronger than any missile capabilities. Okay, this is fantasizing. Now, I mean, it's true, it's true. The people's will is more important than the weapons. I agree with that, I was just joking. Uh, because people without uh, spirit, uh, they can get whatever weapons they want, they, pff, no, the spirit, the sacrifice, the, what you have inside of you, the, that is more important than the, okay, man, I'm, whatever. So let's go further here. The Chinese Communist Party must cross that I'm, Coding. The Chinese Communist Party must cross the Taiwan Strait to attack Taiwan, which is different from Russia's attack on Ukraine. End quote. You said, and I'm quoting, if you want to land, you will fight on the beaches, beachheads. If the landing is successful, these guys are talking military actions here. Uh, anyone in Taiwan must be as determined to die as Ukraine. Go out and never let China swallow Taiwan. End quote. Okay. Taiwan and China split during a civil war in 1949 when China claims the island as it but China claims its the island as its own. 
territory and has not ruled out using military force to take it. China has stepped up its military provocations against democratic Taiwan in recent years, aiming to intimidating it into accepting Beijing's demands to unify with the communist mainland. The 1979 Taiwan Relations Act which has governed U.S. relations with the island does not require the U.S. to step in militarily if China invades, but makes it American policy to ensure Taiwan has the resources to defend itself and to prevent any unilateral change of status by Beijing. All right. Uh, we get to this point now. But what can you do? But China and Taiwan. China said, we don't need to invade it. Because we are one. Why would I invade my own territory? That's why they, they get that rhetoric. But nevertheless, uh, it's uh, uh, the truth is that Taiwan is a very important strategic point for the United States. I can't remember who that was. Uh, MacArthur? I think MacArthur said that. Not McNamara. McNamara or MacArthur? MacArthur, I think. He said that that's like a... Um, uh, unsinkable uh, ship over there that we can have planes on it like a you know a airplane carrier unsinkable airplane carrier so so it's 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 very very strategically very well over there position that American could possibly use but on the other hand it's very small two bombs or one bomb and pff, you don't destroy it you blow it in the air and you make it dust that's it so you don't need anything else. So it's even easier if you really go to the nitty gritty. I'm talking. I'm not talking about conventional pop, 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 pss, pss, grenades and movies. No, no, not like that. And not the, what the Russians are doing. The Russians are, you know, even the Russians. Because if the Chinese really want, they can send a barrage of uh, three thousand rockets and fall on Taiwan. What do you think Taiwan is gonna do? It's gonna have uh, enough. Uh, how, how should I put it, uh, defensive, air defense systems to uh, destroy all of them, they're going to annihilate them with uh, the numbers, not with precision, numbers. Just throw it over there. I don't know, 10,000 at once. How are you going to stop that? If you have 10,000 rockets, they're going to kill them all, destroy them all. There are some of them you can't even see them, not see them, uh, uh, see them on the radar and other installations. You just throw it over there, you play it out. I mean, if it's like that, if it's for real, because what's happening over there in Ukraine is not for real, to put it this way. It is for real. I'm not saying it's not people dead and destruction, but it's not um, all the way I'm talking, like total. Like, okay, I want to finish the, everything. It's not that, that, that what I mean. No, it's not. It's it's very surgical. Not very surgical. That's even worse because it's uh, too much on the left now. The other one was too much on the right. But I think it's calculated and it's uh, you know strategically calculated and thought of. And it's not like okay, now we're gonna. All right, we're done. It's not like that. So thank you very much for being with me again today. Be careful, Beijing. They got the rocket. The rocket. <laughs> be, be careful. They got a big... All right. Have a nice day. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. And be just. See ya.